So I'm still working on exporting the 3D human model from MPFB2 into Godot4. I've had some success with the skeleton and animations, but I'm having issues when I resize the model, so I just wanted to show you what I've got so far. I'll start out in a new Blender project and delete all of the objects. Then click on the little arrow to open the Make Human toolbar and create a new human from scratch. I'll just leave all of the values at the default. And I'm not going to worry about the skin and clothing right now. So I'll go to Rigging and add a rig. Select the Mixamo so that it will work and then click apply rig so now you can see the human rig skeleton is highlighted in the model now we want to export this for mixamo so under animation operations animation. First I'll export the Mixamo reduced doll, which saves the model as an FBX. So then I'll go to Mixamo.com by Adobe and upload the character FBX file. And once it's done uploading, you can hit next. Then select an animation and you can change the parameters if you want. So I'll just download this, choose without skin. and save it as an FBX. So now in Blender, we'll want to delete the human rig reduced that it generated when we exported the Mixamo. Then we'll go to Import FBX and find the animation file. This will create a new object. And then if you have that selected and you select the original human rig in the operations animation menu, you can click snap to Mixamo. So if I just have one selected, the option's not there. If you select both, then you can snap to Mixamo and now the rigs are aligned and the character does the animation like so. And obviously we'll want to have more than one animation for the character. So in Mixamo I'll download a second animation with the FBX binary and without skin and save that as well then I can import the FBX animation file as we did before and then if you select the new animation and the original human rig you can snap to Mixamo, but now the body is attached to the new animation and not the previous, so they both play at the same time as well, as you can see, but the model is only mapped to one skeleton. So there is a plugin for retargeting the skeletons in Blender. I don't know if you can just do it with the default tools, 
but I can transfer the skeleton in Godot pretty easily, so I'll just do it that way instead. So I'll go ahead and save this file as it is with the two Mixamo animations and the original human rig as a blend file in a Godot project. So I talked about the shape keys before and you can find them under the data tab on the human mesh. But if you have the hide helpers modifier active, these don't export to Godot. And if you remove the modifier, it looks like that, which we obviously don't want. But you can go to operations base mesh and click delete helpers and that will get rid of the helper geometry and we'll still be able to change the shape keys in Godot and the armature modifier seems to be okay so leave that one then I'll resave the blender file and open it up in Godot after it imports so I'll make a new 3D scene and drag the human.blend as a new node. Then you can right click and make local to expand the nodes. So we have the default human rig with the human mesh and you can see the blend shapes have transferred over so I can adjust these as you can see but I'll set those back to zero and in the animation player You can see these two animations are mapped to their own separate skeleton nodes. So you can manually retarget the track. You can see the human rig reduce 001 skeleton 3D. So you could change that to just human rig for all of these animations, which is quite a few. Or you could write a script to do that. And there is a feature request for retargeting animations as well, but that hasn't been added yet. So the easiest thing to do, I believe, is to delete the extra rigs and the animation player and I'll add a new animation player here then make a new 3D scene and drag the human blend file here as well and I'll make the node local then I'll delete the human rig base mesh and rename human rig reduced to human rig. Then I'll go to the corresponding Roomba dance animation and you'll want to manage animations and make unique from the animation library menu on the global so now you can go to edit and copy track copy tracks then select all now that it's pointing at the human rig node and then go back to your original scene make a new animation, 
called Roomba Dance and click edit and paste the tracks. Then we'll want to change the time and set it to looping. And as you can see, when you play the animation, it is now attached to the 3D mesh. So we can do the same for the other animation. I'll delete the human rig and the related animation track, and then rename human rig reduced 001 to human rig, and switch the track then go to make sure it's retargeted and copy the tracks then in the original mesh create another animation for the punch and paste the new track like so can increase the time of the animation as well. So now we can change between the Roomba dance and the punch animation. And if you want to import any more animations, you can make a whole new file and just copy them like we did, so it doesn't all have to be set up in the Blender file. So the base mesh looks pretty good as the animation plays, but the problem is when you change the height slider or any of the other skeleton deform modifiers, You can see that it starts to be deformed, like in the fingers and the neck. So basically, I'll have to regenerate the skeleton every time I change the mesh. And I may still have to recreate all of the animations as well, or use inverse kinematics, but hopefully just changing the skeleton size will be good enough. So there is a thread about this on the makehumancommunity.org forum. They were trying to smoothly animate the maturity from infant to adult and they made several different skeletons for the mesh to attach to. As you can see though, the arm is still glitching through the body and it's very choppy still. It's not a smooth animation, which would be not that bad, but they ended up just using the adult human body and then just changing the head, which I definitely don't want to do. So this will be something to look into. I did find out in the Make Human plugin for Blender that once you add the rig and clothing, so if you just adjust the height from here, it won't update the rig, but under model, you can click auto refit assets. So that will make it regenerate the skeleton every time you change and refit the clothing. So that functionality is there as well. So I'll probably look into the source code for the plugin and see 
how that works. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching and have a great day.